Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone. Today we're going to talk about how to get your YouTube videos over to your blog automatically whenever you publish something new. So it's a thing that I've been playing around with. Rather than have somebody, a VA or a team member or whatever, um, you know, watch and see when a YouTube video is going to go live and then put it over on the on like the done for you blog or the done with you blog or whatever. What I've started doing was having it auto post with the description and then going back in afterwards and pasting the transcripts of those uh, because the transcripts are human transcribed uh, we can't necessarily automate that so what I want to do is show you how to set it up as an integration on your website uh, nice and easy the tool that we're going to use is Zapier now you may remember that I've used Zapier in the past to connect Facebook lead ads with a Google spreadsheet so Zapier all, it does a lot, a lot, a lot of different integrations. I wanna walk you through the YouTube ones that we have set up. So inside Zapier, you can connect the YouTube app, YouTube, if I can spell it correctly. So YouTube to WordPress, if your website is WordPress. Now, it can be lots of other things though, right? It can be Kajabi, it can be Webflow, Lots of different things that you can do with it. But basically what we want to do, we're going to, con we're going to connect uh, YouTube to WordPress so that when there is a new video, now think about this for a little bit, new video by search, new video by channel, new video by playlist. So you could actually set it up so that when there is a new video from a tag search that you do, it automatically posts it over on, you on WordPress. When there is a new video in a channel, Let's say you wanna archive all Mr. Beast's channels or videos. So when there's a new video in a channel, you can post it over to a WordPress website or playlist. All the Fortnite gaming videos you can put in a, from a playlist, you can pull over into a WordPress website. But what we're gonna do is just do a video. So when there is a new video published, then create a user, no. Find a post, no. Update a post, no. Update media, no. Create a post, yes then we're going to try it. So this is where you actually set up the integration itself. So you need to tie a YouTube account. So if you don't have a YouTube account already set up, you're gonna say connect a new account. Then we're gonna hit continue. We're going to find a username. So the way I have it set up originally is we have YouTube. The event is a new video in a channel and then when it attaches, when it, when it sees a new video in that channel, then it creates a new WordPress post. So the WordPress post is our done for you blog. So I went through and set that up. It's gonna post the, the post type and then the title itself is gonna pull from YouTube. So the YouTube video title is gonna be the WordPress video title. Then the content of the blog post is the first, it's the embed URL. So one of the things about WordPress is when it sees a YouTube video, it automatically turns it into the actual embeddable YouTube video. It's just a function of WordPress. So when YouTube drops that link in a blog post, it automatically opens it up as the playable video. Then it attaches the description right underneath. Then I use a call to action. So to watch on the Done For You channel, go to youtube.com URL. So if somebody lands on the video on the blog and they wanna go see more YouTube videos, then I actually make that addition. And we have that same addition on some of our other properties too. The author is me, the comment status is closed, you can't comment on it. And then the category of those is podcast. So, and then it publishes on the same day. As soon as it goes live on YouTube, it, auto, it automatically publishes over to the blog. So it's a nice system. Now you can daisy chain events too. You can have your YouTube video, you can have it. So if we wanna create a new zap, we can have YouTube be the trigger, but then we can make it go over to Facebook, we can make it go to Instagram. There's lots of lots of, of additional ways that we can we can set it all set it all up with YouTube being the trigger. 
So really what you have is you have a, a, a way to automate your, as soon as a video goes live, it automatically hits WordPress. WordPress can automatically send it out to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever. So it gives you the ability to start daisy chaining events together. So all inside the one tool. So if you have any questions at all about how to use Zap, how to set up some of this, some of this automation, just ask in the comments below and we'll make sure to get them answered and I'll talk to you soon.